Hello, welcome to American Baker in Germany, where the ingredients are German and the baker is American. I'm Michelle, and today we are making a recipe for millionaire bars. Now, millionaire bars are basically a layer of shortbread covered with a layer of caramel, covered with a layer of chocolate ganache. How amazing is that? Uh, I'm not actually sure why they're called millionaire bars. I'm guessing because they make you feel like a million dollars. I don't know. Um, but if anybody knows, please write it down in the comments. <laughs> but let's get started. First step, shortbread. We need one cup or 250 grams of butter, one third cup or 70 grams of sugar, one third cup or 70 grams of brown sugar, one egg, half a teaspoon salt, one teaspoon vanilla extract or one tablespoon vanilla sugar, two and a quarter cups or 280 grams of flour. Step two, caramel. We need one cup or 200 grams of sugar, three tablespoons water, one quarter cup or 60 grams of corn syrup, half a teaspoon salt, half a cup or 110 milliliters of cream, half a cup or 125 grams of butter. Step three, ganache. We need half a cup or 100 grams of chocolate. You can use dark or milk chocolate. Half a cup or 110 milliliters of cream. I'm going to start out with the caramel because the caramel needs the longest time to cool completely. I add sugar, corn syrup, and water to a small saucepan. Mix them together to combine then heat over high heat. Cover the pan with a lid briefly once the sugar comes to a boil. Now do not stir the syrup. Stirring causes the sugar to crystallize. While the, syrup, while the syrup is coming to temperature, add the butter and salt to the cream and heat in the microwave, stirring every 30 seconds until the butter is completely melted. Heat the syrup to 320 degrees Fahrenheit or 160 degrees Celsius. Or if you don't have or don't want to use a thermometer, heat it until the syrup starts to change color. It will turn yellow and then start to brown. While it was heating, I tested the syrup a couple times to see where we were. You don't have to do this. Then when the syrup begins to change color, add the cream and butter a little at a time, stirring constantly. Then allow it to boil for a few minutes until the caramel begins to change color to a golden brown. Remove from heat and allow to cool for several hours. Next, I made the ganache. Just add the chocolate and cream to a microwave safe bowl and microwave it on half power, stirring every 30 seconds until the chocolate is completely melted.
Stir to combine completely and allow to set. Finally, I made the shortbread. I began by creaming the butter. Then I add the sugars and cream them together. Then the egg. Then I added the dry ingredients a little at a time. I am pressing this dough into a 6 inch square lined baking pan but it was more dough than I needed, so a larger pan would work great as well. Bake at 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius for about 30 minutes or until the top begins to turn golden brown. Allow to cool for at least 15 minutes or until you can touch it comfortably. Now we have all our elements and can combine them, leaving the shortbread in the form Pour the caramel over the top and smooth it on. The caramel should have been cooling at least two hours by this point. Then add the ganache over the top and smooth it on, making sure the caramel is set enough to hold the ganache. Allow to set until the ganache sets up without being runny. This will probably take about an hour. Put it in the fridge to speed up the process. Once the bars have set, Use a knife to loosen the sides and cut into bars. I highly recommend a springform pan because they can be difficult to remove from the pan. These bars are absolutely decadent. When I took a bite, my first words were, wow, that's rich. I guess that's why they're called millionaire bars. <laughs> For more recipes and tutorials, visit our website at AmericanBakerInGermany.com. We're also on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Subscribe for more recipes.